Hey, it's Elena and Brennan and today we'll be talking about languages. A lot of us speak multiple language, one language and kind of having a conversation of how that affects our identity and how we grew up with it. Today we have an all-star panel of collaboration staff members here to share their experiences with us. Hey, I'm Brandon. Hi. I'm Daisuke. And I'm Selena. Okay, um, thank you everyone for joining us today and being part of this vlog we have. To start off the conversation, I'm going to ask a couple of questions um, just to get the conversation going. I mean, first off, we just want to get an idea of what your background is as far as language is concerned. Okay, um, so at home, I actually speak Chinese. Um, that's my first language. And English is actually my second. And in school, I also took Korean and French. So for me, I was born in Japan, so I, Japanese is my first language, and then English, I grew up here most of my life, and so that, that, that'll be my second language. Um, yeah, I, I went to Japanese school when I was a little kid, so I, I practice a little bit of Japanese there, and I keep it up with my parents, so that's how, that's how I, I do it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I was born here. Uh, my first language is English. My mom speaks a fluent Chinese and my dad speaks fluent Arabic. Um, they didn't teach me their languages though at all, so I am definitely pathetically monolingual. Um, but as I grew up, I realized that, you know, no, I really want to be bilingual, trilingual, um, and so on. So I tried really hard to just sharpen up my Chinese skills, and so now I'm pretty at an intermediate level. I can converse with people, converse with people fine. So, yeah. Okay, so I grew up in a Vietnamese household, and um, one thing that most people don't know about me, and I'm pretty sure a lot of the collab SF staff don't know about me, is that I also have a Chinese background too. I'm able to speak Vietnamese fluently, and I'm able to conduct a conversation in Cantonese, but I'm stronger in Vietnamese. Going, going off the, um, you know, what you speak at home, Brandon, yeah. you know, we want to get an idea of, um, you know, how does language work with your home situation or with your family? Oh, okay, um, so at home I speak mainly Chinese. Um, sometimes I mix English here and there just because I've been here for so long. Um, so I speak English. <laughs> <laughs> I would say at home I, I speak Japanese with my mom, which I actually really like because that allows me to keep my Japanese language. With my dad, he tries to speak English with me, and I was always <laughs> like, I, to me, like I want to speak Japanese with my parents, mm -hmm. and so I, I, I want to be able to keep that. So I don't like. I know my dad wants to like get learn English and all that, but I want to I want us to have like the Japanese traditional family lifestyle. That's nice. Um, well, my parents met here, and so their common language, the only one, was English. And so I think when they decided to settle down and have a family, raising two kids with like each of them <laughs> learning Chinese and Arabic was kind of difficult for them. So um, no, I, at home we all speak English together. But now I can communicate with my mom in Chinese, which is nice. So. So does your dad know any Chinese? No, he doesn't. So it's really funny because now my mom and I can say stuff behind <laughs> their back, but like in front of him, and he'll get really annoyed by that. But of course, we don't do it all the time. Um, but he'll be like, no Chinese right now. Oh, don't, don't say that. So, um, yeah, it's funny. So growing up, um, my parents had this really strict rule at home where they said Vietnamese only, no English, just so that we can still maintain our background. and. Looking back at it, I'm really thankful for it just because now, um, you know, there are a lot of people that forget their native language or so, and I'm, I'm just really glad that I'm able to have Vietnamese and English. So for the most part at home, we do speak Vietnamese. The only time I really use my Cantonese is when I'm speaking to my grandparents on my um, mom's side, which is actually pretty close to my family location and just like relationship-wise too. 